Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your uh, March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see um, what's going on with you guys in love, blocks and challenges in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am doing a giveaway for a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. I posted that the details on how to enter the giveaway in the community tab on my YouTube page. Check that out if you guys are interested. I will announce the winner on March 8th, all right? So tell me about Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Single Scorpios in love. What's going on with single Scorpios in love for, um, for March 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Scorpios. What are the blocks and challenges? With the Three of Pentacles here and the Six of Cups. Blocks and challenges that there is someone here from your past that wants to work things out here with you. Perhaps it's your person. Perhaps it's you wanting to work things out with your ex. You know, wanting, uh, you know, this person to make things better. Wanting them to apologize, to heal the connection here for breaking your heart. You know, I do feel like this person uh, definitely put you in a third party situation here. Uh, there is someone here that definitely wants to reconnect and work things out. Someone here might be having a hard time uh, walking away. Uh, someone here is holding on to their ex here. You know, I do feel like, you know, it could be a situation where it might take a couple of times for someone here to finally walk away, you know, because someone here is tired of getting hurt. I do feel like, you, you know, with the Justice card here and the Judgment card and the Lovers here, some of you guys could be dealing with a karmic situation here. This is like a karmic bond where I feel like you guys are having a hard time breaking away from, okay? This could also be a same-sex couple. It doesn't have to be here. Judge Justice uh, Libra energy, Judgment Sagittarius energy, the Lovers Gemini energy here. Yeah, this is a tough bond that you guys are having a hard time breaking away from. This is a very unhealthy connection here because I feel like someone here keeps getting hurt over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Nothing is changing. Nothing is getting better here. I feel like someone here is getting duped. Someone here feels like they're getting duped. Someone here feels like they're getting tricked here. Someone here is getting, feel like they're getting used. Yeah, and I feel like someone here is tired of the games. Ty someone here is emotionally drained emotionally tired here and i feel like someone here does not want to play this game anymore someone here just wants to walk away and i feel like this queen of wands could be you with the kings and queen of wands this is a true pair this is a soulmate connection here and i feel like even though you really want to get away from this person scorpio i feel like you have a hard time getting away from this person there's some sort of strong karmic bond that keeps you guys together here you know in these karmic connections what we're meant to do is to transcend these karmic debts together but if one person's on the page, like one person wants to do it and then the other person doesn't want to do it, obviously it doesn't work out because both people have to want to do it here. When that doesn't happen, you will have to do that individually here, you know? So what else do we have here for Scorpio? What does a Scorpio need to know? Look out for to work on. Single Scorpio. Uh, is there anyone new coming in for single Scorpios here? I do feel like you guys are still dealing with this person, so I don't really foresee anyone new coming in here. We have the sun here and the four of pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like someone here is hoping that things will get better, hope, hoping that this rough patch will end here. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, perhaps this rough, rough patch can't end. Uh, but the, at the end of the day, what's important is to do what's right for you. You know, with the nine of swords here, yeah, someone here is just not really happy. Nine of swords, uh... Uh, we have the Sun of Swords here and the Moon. Uh, this connection is definitely shrouded with secrets here, shrouded with lies and deception here. You know, 
And perhaps the lesson that you have to learn from this is that, you know, to not let people take advantage of you here, Scorpio, you know, um, or to hand your power away to somebody else. Um, I do feel like there is a new beginning here for you, but I feel like some, some of you guys are definitely blocking this out right now or that you guys are not ready for it, which is okay. You'll be ready for it when you're ready for it. You know, you don't have to force the process. This is your process here. You could go through it however you want to, want it to. And this is how you are moving through it. And there's nothing wrong with the way that you're moving through it. You know, this is just what's coming up. This is how you're moving through it. And that is fine. All right. Tell me the sun. <coughs> Ace of Wands here. The Nine of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, if there is some sort of separation here, this person is definitely offering you a new beginning right now. A passion new beginning here. It's like almost like being in the mafia, you know? It's kind of like once you get in, you can't get out, that sort of thing. And it's like more so kind of like a bit of an energetic thing here. I do feel like it's a very strong karmic bond. I, I feel like you're well aware that Scorpio, you'll have to get out here, but you're definitely having a difficult time here. You know, I do feel like if that's the case, you might have to bring in someone here to work with you, to cut those ties, to cut those cords, to kind of like rewrite the soul contract that you might have with this person here, you know? Um, because I feel like it might have something to do with the soul contract, updating your soul contract with this individual, breaking that soul contract here. Perhaps this is a soul contract. Yeah, that needs to be broken here. It's almost like it will never play out the way that it's, it will never finish, you know? But it's kind of like being stuck. Yeah, it will never finish here. And it's kind of like being stuck. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords, the Moon. This person's definitely hiding secrets here from you too. I mean, this person definitely has other feminine energies that they're fooling around with, talking to you, you know? So, you know, I do feel like this is a situation that's not really changing or improving here. If anything, I actually could see it getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ace of Pentacles here, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Swords. Why well, is the Two of Swords here? And the Three of Wands. In due time, you will realize that, okay, it's time to get out of here. It's time to move on. You know, the longer that I stay, you know, the longer that you stay, you're creating your suffering here. You're accumulating karma for yourself. I mean, obviously, you know, you're... Sometimes some people put themselves in that position where they are hurting themselves here, you know? Um, this is quite a, a difficult situation to be in, but, you know, I do feel like over time you will get out here. You will be able to get out, but it's just hard. Yeah, it's just hard. It's some sort of strong karmic bond, some sort of strong uh, soul contract here that's not allowing you to get away from this person. So, um, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.